Maggie. What, for two blocks? You're late and tired. You know, that's your trouble, Maggie. You don't eat properly. All right. Yeah, taxi. I look heavyish to you. What? I feel heavyish. Put a note on my desk in the morning. Think thin. Think thin. What's that supposed to be? Cars waiting outside. You will walk between us saying nothing. What are you talking about? Let's go. Now, what the devil is all this about? Why was I brought here? Games? Must we? My secretary is a great admirer of your methods, Mr. Kaplan. I told you, I'm not Kaplan, whoever he is. Do you intend to cooperate with us? I'd like a simple yes or no. A simple no. A pleasant journey, sir. Oh. You see that they try to kill me. Well, I mean, after all, Your Honor, would I make up such a story? That is precisely what we're intending to find out, Mr. Nathaniel. Well, she seemed to think I'm Kaplan. I wonder if I look like Kaplan. Do you know this man? <sighs> you saw the newspapers. My fingerprints were on the knife, on a car thief, a drunk driver, and I murdered him. man for revenge. I wouldn't have a chance. Tell me, why are you so good to me? Shall I climb up and tell you why? Oh, I know you are to murder. You don't. Apparently, the only performance that will satisfy you is when I play dead in your very next role. You know, Edmund, you listen to me. I'm an advertising man, not a red herring. I've got a job, a secretary, a mother, two ex-wives, and several bartenders dependent upon me. And I don't intend to disappoint them all by getting myself slightly killed. Whoops. I don't like the games you play, Professor. War is hell, Mr. Thorne. Even when it's a cold one. Is it window 15, not the left? And now what little trauma are we here for today? What happened to the first two marriages? Well, my wives divorced me. Why? Well, I think they said I led too dull a life. Mr. Captain, we've had just about enough of you. Top of the bunk. Planes, dust, and crops where there ain't no crops.